Alright guys, Miss Monserati here, and we are doing our homework for today. It's page 947 and 948. We are still chapter 12. This is the Check My Progress. How are you doing? Alright, so, circle the correct term or terms to complete each sentence. So, I'm looking at, do I want rectangular prism or triangular prism? I have to circle one of these two terms. They're in parentheses and they're highlighted. So that lets me know that's what they're talking about. My regular sentence is a blank is a three-dimensional figure that has six rectangular faces and eight vertices. So if you could go back in your notes and check which one of the three-dimensional um, figures that we looked at had six rectangular faces and eight vertices, right? Hopefully you remember. Here's my rectangular prism, right? I have one, two on the end plus one, two on the side. I can't see three and then four on the bottom. So right, four plus two is six faces, right? The face is just the flat part. Vertices are the corners. So I'm going to count. Or one, two, three, and the one I can't see in the back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? If I was doing a triangular prism, which I can, I don't know how to draw a triangular prism. Right? It's this way. And I would have my base here and I'd have one, two, three, and four vertices. And I'd have my faces, I'd have one, two, three, and my bottom would be four. So a, a blank is a parallelogram with all sides congruent, right? Congruent means the same length. And hopefully you remember a rectangle does not have all sides the same length. Even if you don't know the answer to this, as long as you know that a rectangle, all, all sides are not the same length. If you know congruent means the same, right, equal to, then you know that the right answer is the, the other answer, but it is a rhombus, right? A rhombus is like a square with all the sides the same length, but it doesn't have to have 90 degree angles where they're perfect squares. So A, right, I don't know if I'm going to pick vertex or edge of my two answers. If I was going to say A, I'd say A vertex. It does not start with, start with a vowel. If I was going to say edge, I'd say an edge because it starts with a vowel. That's why this N is in parentheses here. So A or an of a, a, a or an blank of a three-dimensional figure is where two faces meet. Right, when two faces meet on my prism, I call it my edge. So I do need an edge. So A blank has a has at least three faces that are rectangles. Right? A rectangle, three faces. A trapezoid is just a little shape, right? It doesn't have any faces. A prism, though, remember we're looking at prisms. So a prism has multiple sides. So maybe that's a better word for the faces. I call them the sides of my shape. So describe the attributes of each quadrilateral, then classify the quadrilateral. Well, it looks like opposite sides are congruent and equal, and they're going the same length, right? So I'm going to say opposite sides. are parallel, right? They're running next to each other. They're going to just keep going. They'd never touch. And congruent, right? This is the same length as this, and this is the same length as this. And what is that shape called? Yes, you're right. Good answer. My Dora the Explorer, sorry. I have to do it. It's, it's like a thing now. Parallelogram. So that's why I'm going to call this shape. This one has how many sides? One, two, three, four. It looks like each side is a different length, right? 
So it's not really, I could call it a side, a shape that has four sides is called a, I'm going to name it first. Oh, you remember? Yes, you're right. If you said quadrilateral, quadrilateral, right? And it is not regular. None of the same sh shapes are the same size. Size. So I'm going to say that is not regular. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up on my regular. I'm going to, and how about we'll add a little more for kicks and giggles. No sides are congruent, right, no sides are the same length, and no sides are parallel. Alright, next question. Circle the quadrilateral, right, a quadrilateral is any shape that has four sides. This is a quadrilateral, it has four sides, it's a shape, everything's straight, no curves. Um, so circle the quadrilateral or S, right? There could be more than one if they put that up in S in the parentheses. It's like maybe there's one, but there might be more that have all the attributes of a rhombus. So a trapezoid, no, it's not a rhombus. All sides are not equal. A square, ooh, yeah, that would work. Let's circle it. A parallelogram, mm, right? A parallelogram does not have to have all equal sides. It could have super long sides as long as they run parallel and as long as this runs parallel to that. This is so nope. A rectangle, right? We already know. Hopefully you remember. A rectangle does not have to have all the same length of sides. A rhombus does. So my only answer is square. All right, circle the quadrilateral, or if there's more, quadrilaterals that have all the attributes of a rectangle. So a parallelogram does not have to have 90 degree angles, right? It could be slanted. A square, it has to have right angles, it has to have four sides, and they have to be parallel. To opposite sides have to be parallel. Yeah. Square fit has the same definition. It could work that. A difference, it has to have 90 degree angles, but this one has all the attributes of this. If they ask me all the ones of the square, nothing, right? A trapezoid, no. A rectangle is, it has to have two opposite sides that are parallel and congruent, the same length, right? And a trapezoid does not. These sides, might be the same length, but they're not parallel. They're going to bump into each other eventually. These sides are parallel, but they're not the same length. So, and my last one, a rhombus. Well, a rectangle has to have right angles. A rhombus does not. They both start with R, but that's not going to work. So, my answer was square, square. All right, ready for the back and our final thing for me. I'm late and I need to go to sleep, so I'm filming this and I'm like so excited to finish up. Describe the faces, edge, and vertices of each three-dimensional figure, then identify it. So let's just say how many it has. So this one has one, two, the bottom one, three, and the one on the back, four, one on one side, five, and one, six faces. It also has, and I'm going to separate it by semicolon, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, I counted wrong, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices, right? One is called a vertex. If I have more than one, I pluralize it, and I have eight vertices, and my last thing I need to count is the edges, right? So edges where two sides meet, one, two, and the one in the back, three, four, and over here on this side, five, six, seven, eight, and on the side I can't really see all of it, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it has twelve edges, 
so we could look back on our pages and um, remember what the definition of a pris of these prisms were. But hopefully you remember the rectangular. Oops. Oh my goodness. The rectangular. And I call these three dimensional shapes prisms. It's a rectangular prism. All right, next one. Let's count. How many faces does it have? It has one, one on the back, and one on the bottom. So one, two, three, one on this side, one on this side. So three plus two, five faces. How many vertices does it have, right? Pointy corners. One, two on the top. One, three, four over here, and in the back, five, six. So it has six vertices. And how many um, pokey corners does it have? How many um, vertices? Sorry, how many? Oh, I counted wrong, huh? No, I did right. Vertices. And now I'm counting how many edges where the two sides meet. So one, two, one in the back, three and then four, five, six on this side, and then seven, eight, nine, and nine edges. And hopefully you can see that this is a triangle. So I'm going to call this a triangular prism. All right, the prism is just letting me know it's three-dimensional triangle triangle. All right, here is Kendra. Kendra has a xylophone. There it is, right? It makes it makes music. I hit it with a little a little hammer kind of thing, and each one has a different sound and I can do my my notes A B C D. Anyway, um Kendra's xylophone is a shape of a trapezoid shown at the right. Describe any parallel, perpendicular, or congruent sides of the xylophone, right? It is considered a trapezoid. Two sides are parallel. The rest are not, right? The other two are not. So, um, only one pair of opposite sides is parallel. That's what makes it a trapezoid. One pair, oops, I forgot my eye, of opposite sides is parallel ah, an L here, sorry. And one pair of sides are congruent, right? This one's shorter than this one, so they're not congruent. But these sides are congruent. They're just um, not parallel. They just slope in a little bit. And one pair, sorry, I forgot my E. I'll add it in. One pair of opposite sides is congruent. Ready? Next one. Two more problems and we're done. Here's Garrett. Garrett cut a piece of cheese. You can see his cheese. Someone turned it into a car. He is driving it. He put wheels on it. He put on a little saying here, Switzerland or bust. Right? We like to write these signs um, if we're traveling somewhere, right? If you were traveling from Mexico to California, you would write a sign that said California or bust while you were driving, right? If you bust, you just give up. You, if you're either going to make it to, he's either going to make it to Switzerland or he's giving up. He busts. To bust is to give up. So Garrett cut a piece of cheese to eat for a snack. The cheese is a prism with three faces that are rectangular and two that are triangular. What kind of figure is it? Right? It's not really, remember when we did the pie, one thing about that piece of pie, it had a curved edge. 
So this one does too, so it's not superly a prism. But hopefully you can see it's not a rectangle, right? It's a triangular prism. And last but not least, our last problem, which is not a true statement. All squares are parallelograms, no. Some rhombi, right, a rhombus, a multiple of a rhombus would be a rhombi, are squares. Some of them are squares, no, because they, they, they don't all have 90, some, maybe, but. Oh, sorry, I'm doing it wrong, right? Some are. Uh, all squares are parallelograms. Yeah, all squares are parallelograms because they run parallel, parallel. Some rhombi are squares. Yeah, sometimes I get a rhombus that is a square. All rectangles are squares? No, right? A rectangle is not all squares are rectangles would be a true statement. All rectangles are parallelograms. Yes, all rectangles are parallelograms. So I'm trying to figure out which of these statements is not true. Which one is telling me a mentira, a lie, right? All rectangles are not squares. All squares are rectangles, but all rectangles are not squares. I know that's super confusing. All right, and done with your homework in less than 17 minutes.